Welcome to Team Member Spotlight, where today we are featuring um, <laughs> our community technical lead, Philip Beadle, uh, based out of Melbourne in Australia, who does a whole host of different projects and work in building out uh, our suite of Holochain apps and our ecosystem and supporting people in the ecosystem. Philip, do you want to share a little bit about what you do? Sure, thanks, Ben. I've been working with Holochain for about two years now. Uh, started off building things like CI pipelines, which didn't exist in the in the Go system that we had before. And I built some test frameworks to like work out how to actually test Holochain and test UIs using Holochain. And then I started doing things like auto-releasing uh, HAPs to the GitHub releases tab, uh, all automated, you know, do things like, you know, push it into the master branch and it automatically does everything, which is what I like doing because I've always said that um, humans create and computers automate. So we should not be doing repetitive tasks and we can you know, use our brains for creativity, which has worked really well. I've been working on a couple of main uh, haps. One of them is called the identity manager, which includes our distributed public key infrastructure implementation deep key. That allows you to manage your keys across various devices and you know revoke a key if you lose your phone, that sort of thing. And the other main app is one that's now called Peer Chat. It's had 1,700 million different names so far, but uh, at this point, Peer Chat seems to be the appropriate name for it. And last week when I was in Montreal with the um, core team, I actually managed to add in a feature where you can now install new DNAs for each new group. So you can have really private uh, chat groups and there's a couple of different ways of restricting who is in there. You can do things like um, get somebody's public key and only allow that person to communicate with you or you can actually manage a list of keys as well. So that was super awesome. Um, we pushed the, there's a new function, I'm sure the developers would have noticed called validate agent. So I've been utilizing that in a, a various different ways to manage what we call membranes. So to restrict who's allowed to actually be part of the uh, DNA. Um, and just recently this uh, role name community technical lead kind of crystallized out of what I'm actually doing because people were like, hey, what does Phil do? And I'm like, I kind of do this stuff. And now we've, it's been given a name. And I'm now working um, with a lot of commercial projects as well. So um, there's some really big projects, especially out of the EU, who are using the uh, REA framework, which has been built on top of Holochain, uh, to do things like we're going to build a supply chain pilot for a, a big wholesaler in Spain. And we're going to build it as a pilot so we can experiment with what can be done on Holochain at this point. And uh, I'm, I'm finding this really great fun and really of great value to the organization because if I can't do something, then I just call David, who is also in Melbourne, and go, hey, David, need this new feature. And then we like work out how to get it into the core so that I can use it. Um, mm. And I'm also doing things like, you know, uh, next level technical support for forums and dev camps and meetups and that sort of thing. Awesome. And I think part of the thing that I want to I want to share about or acknowledge is that uh, you've been a community technical lead for a long time unofficially. Like one of the major reasons that we have such a big, strong, healthy, and vibrant community in Australia is because of your doing this work already there. Because it's so just naturally what you do is share about Holochain because you're passionate about it, support people in learning about it hear their visions, get excited about them, and help them see how they can bring what they want into, into being using this technology. Yeah, and that's been really great fun. I've like uh, that intensive that we had earlier this year, was there like 35 people there in Australia, all yeah. with a variety of insanely good fun projects. Uh, and Red Grid's just raised all, um, they hit 100% of their um, capital raise that they were trying to get to go to the next phase to do their internet of energy, which I think is just amazing. Um, super cool. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So great. Um, I guess the last question I would have is Philip, why, why do you do this work? 
I do this work so that I can look my daughter in the eye and tell her that I'm doing everything I possibly can to save this world. Thank you. My pleasure.